and subjects, uh, what a great way to come back to town. And especially to share this night with you it is such a dream because when I first met her, I was a high school intern. And I didn't know at the time his great talent as a photojournalist. I was starstruck because in our house on Friday nights, we ordered a pizza and we watched. Thank you. 
newsroom as great as that was. And they just taught me how to do it. And they were kind enough to not ignore me, kind enough to not find me, you know, to be, you know, the kid who should just go rip the wire copy, which we did rip in those days. Wow. Uh, and that made all of the difference. And so when the chance came to be able to go on to the network, I took all of that with me. Everything I learned about how you communicate to a viewer, I learned from Tim Taylor, who, when I would sit in the newsroom, I always tried to find an empty desk nearest him so that I could turn to him and say, does this line work? And he would turn to me at the end of uh, you know, the glasses and the tip of his nose, and I could tell if it worked or it didn't work. And everything I learned from my colleagues. And it made, um, it made it fun. What a great time it was when I was here. And the great affection I still feel. Every time I was ever mentioned, no matter how deep in the column, in a Tom Farron column, that as a sacred place in my personal archive. <laughs> and so I said to Tom earlier, I have every clip that you ever, I mean, if I was the 50th person mentioned that is stored in our home and is a treasure thing. In the years since, I get that envelope, I'd open it up, it would be my father sending me Tom's book, all the ones that we saw here, with a post-it note that said, I think you want to see this. <laughs> so I feel that connection. It's so wonderful to share this night with these other honorees who I, I great admiration for. Uh, the plain dealer is a big part of our family, always has been, and it's a treasured ritual to read the paper. As much as I can read it online, I still love to get the clippings my dad will still send me because they mean so much more when he writes a little something in the margin and says, oh, she's want to see this. It has been a tremendous one, and we all know that journalism is, uh, for all the fun, it's also challenging, it's also taxing, it's also difficult. And so when I think about how I got started, I mean, my family is here, and my dad and my brother were the first ones to cheer me on when I was interviewing them with a hairbrush in my pajamas <laughs> and to believe I could do it. And my two closest girlfriends, Christina and Lori, who are the kind of girlfriends who will hear every detail of your joys and your sorrows in excruciating detail, but no matter how many times you have to tell them, that's the kind of girlfriend friends who lift you up. And my David, who has been with me for 10 years, now of those 10 plus years, I have spent hundreds of days on the road where I would be away. And he would never complain, he would never be disappointed when I'd be called in on the weekend or pulled off a vacation. And when I would even feel like, oh boy, the phone is ringing, I know what that means, I'm going to be shot off the cannon and sent somewhere, or I'm going to get up at four to do uh, something in the morning, and he would say, you know, you love this, you know, you really want it. 